Morning guys, I'm at Chessington World of Adventures for the opening day of their theme park season. They've had a few tweaks to the park during off season. I believe they've also got a new food spot open as well. And of course, I'm looking forward to getting back on some of my favorite rides here. So come and hang out with me for a day at Chessington World of Adventures. So the first thing to mention is they seem to have jazzed up the uh, theme music. It's a bit more kind of tropically and bouncy now. So. I don't know if that's new, I don't recall it from last time I was here. So Chessington have their Explorers event starting today as well, which is their Easter event. It's some sort of egg hunt, I believe. We'll see what we discover as we head through the park. So we have some new brickwork around here. Oh, very colourful now. Look at this, Adventure Point is looking much more uh, modern and swish. Also very, very smoky. What's going on in here? Get into my eyes! The fog is getting into my eyes! There's some weird uh, smoke bellowing out of there. Brandon, it seems... Um, slightly sinister looking grey cloud there. I think it's just an effect. So the music is very loud on park today. It does help with the atmosphere. Uh, might mean the sound is not so good on the video though. <laughs> not sure if it's me, but it's all this pathway around here feels very new. So I'm not sure if they just scrubbed it up really well or if they've laid some new pathing, but it does all look and feel quite fresh. I think I'm gonna head to Dragon's Fury first today as this has spited me the last two times I was here and it's been a while since I've ridden it. And you get a really good view of Mandrill Mayhem's inversion walking through from this way now. Maybe some of the trees have been trimmed down a little bit, but I don't remember this view being this clear before. So Dragon's Fury is starting today on a 15 minute queue. That's not too bad. It's usually uh, one of the longer lines here are a few school trips today so not sure how busy it's going to be this lone dragon head thinks you should subscribe to the channel and like the video just had my ride on dragon's fury here uh, that's a really good fun family spinning coaster and also a lot better than spinball was at Alton Towers so for two key reasons firstly this has a much longer sprawling layout which I think really adds to it but secondly they allow single riders here which Alton Towers don't do which I find odd for two parks owned by the same company, two similar rides operated by the same uh, manufacturer. Anyone know the reason why? Glad I rode it when I did because it e-stopped immediately after I got off. And a theme park lesson for you, always do the ride you want to do when you first get here. Bourbon kick! Yeah, someone has literally scattered bourbon biscuits on the floor here. Either that or it started raining them, which um, would be an improvement on water. They've really gone all in with the topiary animals at Chessington now. These are like the sort of grass equivalent of all the Lego figures you get at Legoland now. It's quite cool though. So the steam above the carousel seems to be a more manageable level now and less, looks less like a disaster. So all this new brickwork around here looks really cool. Like the Adventure Games looks really fresh and cleaned up. I think this um, portal into the Mexicano looks so cool now. Like this is really clean and bright. Now we should have a new food outlet through here in Mexicana as well. I believe the Mexican restaurant has been replaced with some sort of chicken and loaded fries place. Yeah, this looks really nice through here, doesn't it? Well, apart from the uh, tape by, by the guttering there, that's, I don't know, maybe it's some sort of authentic theming and I'm just not getting it. The so Scorpion Valley remains closed for what appears to be the foreseeable future. It is all very, very closed off down here. There's been no announcements about it at all by the park. So it looks like this is going to be closed off for the season. Who knows if it will return. So Rattlesnake is currently closed as well. Uh, I'm going to go and check on Vampire in a second. That was closed when I went down there first thing. So, yeah. That's well, a very brief journey through Mexicana there. Not a lot happening in there at all. So let's see what uh, Forbidden Kingdom has to offer and see if Crop Drop is running. It is it's on a five minute queue. Let's go and drop some crocs. Such cool theming. 
and it spins again. Well, a very short five minute wait for croc drop there. In fact, as I entered the queue, I got uh, back straight into the loading area there. So that was quite useful. I really like croc drop. It's obviously aimed at younger guests, but the theming's fantastic. It gets your guts. What more can you ask for? So I was going to have a look at Tomb Blaster, but it appears to be closed all day because it's undergoing a health check on the opening day of the season. I mean, they've had about five months to uh, get its health into a better condition so maybe they need some better surgeons you're really up close to the uh, one of the dragon's fury cars here in the maintenance shed like i could almost reach over and touch it so one of the nicest themed areas of chessington is wild asia they do have a few family rides mainly the jungle bus there they have the monkey swinger which also looks to be closed and of course cobra their zamperla mega disco it's mega because it's got a hump. So with many things currently out of operation, I think I'm going to go and give this a ride. And here we have the dirty fries van. Fortunately, that looks like it's going to be closed today as well. So it's not massively busy here, but there are a few school trips. And uh, yeah, I would have thought there'd be a few more bits open on opening day. Of course, we're going to the weekend tomorrow, so maybe I just want to keep things ready for that. But uh, yeah, a bit disappointed so far. I wonder if the elephant still squirts water. Are you going to squirt me? Now, clearly he's, uh, he's a bit dehydrated today. Well, Cobra has a 30 minute queue, which is just a bit too long for a ride I can do at about 15 other theme parks in this country. So I'm going to continue on with my journey and see if we can find something else to do. Oh. Love all the tuk-tuks randomly hiding around behind all the trees. So food pricing is something of an issue at the Merlin Parks at the moment. So let's take a look at a couple of their major food outlets here and just see what the prices are like here at Chessington for the 2024 season. So unlimited pizza and pasta buffet is not actually advertising their price on the poster outside, which is unusual because Alton Towers do. I've just noticed it past a couple of the food vans as well that they're not advertising the prices on the posters outside. I guess once they open, you see that. However, I did clock earlier. The smokehouse, which at one point was the best place to eat here, it will now set you back £34.25 for either of the platters. And that's if they even have the items available, which they didn't when I came last year. Um, elsewhere, on I mean, I mean, you're looking at 16 quid pretty much as a minimum. It's uh, it's got really expensive, and I'm not convinced any of this is actually smoked. They've even taken the smoker away. They're not even trying to blag it anymore. So I just had a pop inside pizza pasta buffet just to see what the price is. This season in Chessington, it's £19.25. So that's £18.50 at Legoland, £19.25 here, £21 at Alton Towers. It's not a great deal of consistency across the brand, is it, Merlin? Theming. So into Chessington's newest themed land, World of Jumanji. The queues don't seem too bad. Ostrich Stampede is on five minutes. I can't see the queue time for Mandrel Mayhem just yet, but they do have a single rider, which is good. It's such an imposing structure, isn't it? The giant Jaguar, surrounded by green track. Well, the advantages of being a single rider were on full display there as I just skipped an entire 30 minute queue and got back around to the next train. Then I didn't batch the train correctly, so I got a front row ride. So that was all a bit of a result. Not actually ridden Mandrel's Mayhem in the front before. Um, generally, the back seats are continuing to see the best on this, but I thought the front was actually really forceful going forwards. But you did very much notice that rattle going backwards though.
almost a year from opening and uh, Jumanji sort of settled in quite well I think. Some of the trees stripped back down here do take away from it slightly but I think once they've grown back and it sort of feels more surrounded in sort of lush vegetation again I think World of Jumanji will uh, continue to do well here at the park. I still do think Mandrill's Mayhem was a strange choice of roller coaster though. In a park which does suffer from a lack of high capacity rides, putting in a shuttle coaster with only one train, odd decision. But people seem to like it. What do you think? Well, Dragon's Fury is closed again. I think he's hiding from the public because he doesn't want any awkward questions. So a little of the loaded fry place opened up. So I think this is where I'm going to grab a bite to eat. Looks pretty good. Let's go and check out the prices. So I've got my loaded fries. I went for beef barbacoa and a can of Coke. So all the loaded fries are £10.50 individually. Cans are £2.50 uh, for a full fat or £2.20 for the diets. With Merlin discount, it came at £10.60 all in, which is not terrible considering the prices we've seen elsewhere today. But let's do the taste test. So those loaded fries are actually pretty good. And it's rare for me to say that about food at a Merlin park. So I'm quite happy with that. Unfortunately, the weather less good. It's got a bit grim. So heading to quite a damp land of the tiger. Just seeing that Tiger Rock isn't actually opening all day today. Um, which, to be honest, there's not much of a blow in this weather. But there's quite a few rides that are, that are not open today and don't appear to have been scheduled to open today, which on the opening day of the season, I don't think you can give Chessington much credit for that. Although the water is running, so I guess there are no major issues there, but uh, yeah, we'll go and have a look anyway. See if we can find a tiger. So you can't actually get any further than this. So it's all blocked off. You can't even walk down to Tiger Rock at all. There we go. Quite a lot closed off here today. Once again though, they do nail that whole Asia theme. And with Tomb Blaster closed, it's all quite quiet through here too. Just a few people grabbing the uh, undercover sections for a bit of food. So Rattlesnake is still showing its clothes. However, they are cycling trains. So it could be that it's about to open imminently. You can see staff down there in the station just getting some trains ready. They have a lot of trains out on track too. At least four down in the station by the looks of it. So if this opens, I shall get a quick ride on it. It's been a bit of a strange day so far here at Chessington. It is advertised as the opening day of the season, but honestly, it feels more like a pass holder preview event or some sort of test event. There's so much that isn't open, um, and many of it appears as though it was never planned to open today in the first place. Um, then you've got a few more rides that they've just had an unfortunate downtime with today. Rattlesnake, I'm not sure what the issue is there. That hasn't opened at all. Dragon's Fury has been up and down a couple of times. It was closed when I walked past. It seems to be open again now, but they, that's been about three times that that's shut down today. So yeah an awkward start to the season so far so with the weather being what it is and the ride availability not being great either and those that are available have got fairly reasonable queues in this weather i thought let's take a trip through the trail of kings see which cool wildcats we can find it is a bit more shaded in here as well which is nice so it kind of keeps you out of the damp and hopefully we get to see some awesome animals All very quiet and peaceful in here with a mystical air of urine. Maybe it's lions marking their territory, or maybe it's just Chesington residents. Gruffalo was fun as it always is. Uh, some cool little effects in there. Got surprisingly wet with a really massively wet elbow, which is not what I was looking for today. But the rain has at least eased off out here. Unfortunately, ride availability not getting much better as Blue Barnacle is also closed for the time being. Oh dear. 
Dragon's Fury looks very broken again. There's a train stuck up there on the gantry and two members of staff there trying to fix something. All these health check signs suggest that the uh, park's infected by some sort of virus. What is going on, Chessington? Is COVID back? It doesn't quite have the same magic as Disney, does it? Well, Rattlesnake looks as though it's open, so I'm going to go and get a ride on this wild mouse. This is, of course, the only ride here that has a 1.4 height limit, and yet it has a 50-minute queue. I might draw the line there. That seems far too high. Let's go and investigate. Now, it could be that it's been closed all day, so everyone's just run to it. There are a lot of school groups here. Uh, I also think I've come... What is going on with this queue line? So I think I was supposed to go down here. I ended up going back on myself. So let's have a look at that queue. Oh yeah, that looks, that looks quite beefy. Well, an advertised 10 minute queue for Cobra turned into about 30, uh, which should have been clear from the length of queue when I got into it, but I thought, why not anyway? Because there's not a great deal else open, but that was pretty good fun. You can't really grumble at a mega disco. There's just a few too many of them. But although, to be fair, Chessington were one of the early adopters with Cobra before everybody else jumped on the disco bandwagon. Well, Dragon's Fury is back open, which is great to see. We also now have Mandrill Mayhem on a five minute wait. Slightly rude not to have another go on Chessington's newest roller coaster. A third ride of the day on Mandrill Mayhem there. Actually got the backward road that time, backwards facing. Well, for half of the ride anyway. And it's decent, you get sort of almost a bonus inversion because you almost go completely upside down on the reverse spike at the back there. So that was quite good. <laughs> Easter action going on here. So interestingly, they've left up all of the queue line and various buildings for their Christmas event. They still even have Christmas trees behind there and some fake snow on the ground in the distance i mean why would they leave all this up you think you could just repurpose it to something else again more sections just closed off it is a very odd odd opening day here at chessington today i can't lie the otters are actually out i see them so rarely one of them's having a little swim down there What? It's been a while since I've done sea life. Oh, we've got some dories. I asked her to uh, tell me to subscribe, but she forgot. Useless. Look at the size of the catfish in there. He's a monster. It's not the biggest or most impressive sea life centre, but it's still a really nice way to break up the day, and I'm glad they've got it here at Chester. At the far end of the park, you do have that Azteca Hotel. With its own entrance into the park here, look. Right, let's go find some monkeys. Well, after a lack of monkeys, we have found one up the back there. He nearly slipped. Oh, here they come. We've got a whole parade of them. A cacophony of monkeys. These are squirrel monkeys. 
I mean, they're sort of, they're top 10 monkeys, but they're not like, you know, elite status monkeys, like a squirrel monkey or a macaque or something like that. List your monkey rankings in the comments. Well, Vampire is still looking a bit closed with just an ominous back soon message on the entrance. It's three o'clock now, so I'm not too optimistic this is gonna open, although I am hearing I mean, there's clearly people on it, so I'm not sure what that sign is all about. Might as well join the queue. Vampire has some great queue line theming. As you can see, as you walk through, there is a no stone unturned, although maybe there should be. But the piece to resistance is when you get into the station itself, and I'll show you what I mean in just a second. Save us! Create your own personalized souvenir. Well, it's completely empty in here, probably because they're advertising the ride is closed. But check out the awesome organ player, the legendary theming. Vampire's all right, isn't it? It's, uh, it does feel its age at times, especially being an Arrow and Vacoma concoction. But they still pull some really decent force in areas. It's a really interesting ride layout. I would say the pacing has always been a little bit funny with this ride because you sort of do a quick bit and a slow bit and a quick bit and a slow bit. But the final section is really forceful. Uh, the trains are swinging about all over the place today. There is a little bit, a little bit of vibration there, as you'd expect with something this old. But yeah, Vampire still, I think, stands out as one of the best and certainly one of the most unique family coasters we have over here. So. Hopefully, it still has plenty of life left in it. So with all the major coasters ridden bar Rattlesnake and most of the other major rides that I'm interested in that are open today ridden as well, I think I am going to call it a day. It's been a very strange one at Chessington today and I, I want to preface it by saying strange and not bad. It's certainly not been a bad day by any stretch of the imagination, but it hasn't felt like a theme park that's fully operational and it's opening day. Uh, and I do think that's, that's a little bit of a concern. There's definitely a sense on park today that uh, they weren't quite ready to open. It does feel as though they've been caught short almost, which is strange because this opening date has been in their diary for quite some time now. So with all that being said though, the hells have been some really positive things today. Uh, it was great to get back on Dragon's Fury, although it had tons of downtime. That ride has spited me the last couple of times I've been here, so it was great to actually ride one of the best spinning coasters in the country. Um, I also think we've got some reindeer down here, by the way. What do you think of Chessington? I mean, you were enjoying it at Christmas, weren't you? Because you're getting loads of attention, but now people are just walking by. Yeah, I know, mate. So I'm gonna leave it there for today. Thank you for watching. Please like the video if you've enjoyed it. I'll be at Thought Park tomorrow, so subscribe to that. And you can watch this video up on the screen now of Portons Park, which is another really awesome family theme park, well worth checking out. Catch you next time.